And so these proteases are uh, <clears throat> they're enzymes. Again, we'll talk about enzymes very soon in a couple of chapters. But they're very, uh, they have very specific function. That is, they can cleave the peptide bond at the C-terminal end of uh, amino acids uh, that have a positively charged residue, such as a, a lysine or an arginine. So let's say we have this uh, sequence uh, here uh, uh, in the slide on the right. Uh, so if we have the protease called trypsin, uh, this, will, uh, this will cleave at these uh, positively charged amino acid residues. And so those are highlighted in green. So uh, where the single amino acid code is either K or R. So there are uh, a few of these uh, within the sequence. And then there's a fourth R you'll see uh, in the middle here. This is colored red. And the reason for that is because a proline uh, is directly behind this arginine. And that inhibits the ability of this trypsin to actually cleave here. So lysine or arginine with a protease adjacent to it is not going to cleave, um, is not going to cleave uh, this peptide in that fashion. So there are also chemical uh, cleaving methods such as cyanogen bromide, and those cleave at methionines. And so you can see there are a few of these here. And so by using a combination or maybe just even one of these, we can break this uh, peptide down to smaller fragments that we can then use uh, different sequencing protocols on to figure out the sequence of each of these fragments. From here, uh, after we've now separated the subunits, any covalent attachments between the subunits, uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, continue to prepare these now uh, separated peptides for sequencing. And so these actually get a lot easier to sequence if we can uh, somehow fragment them uh, or digest them is uh, another term uh, that we can use into smaller pieces. Fragmentation or digestion. And then now we have smaller peptides, smaller chunks of peptides that we can sequence. And that, that greatly aids uh, our sequencing protocols. And so uh, a way to do this is to use proteases. Um, so typically we use endoproteases, which means that they cleave inside uh, the amino acid versus exoproteases uh, that cleave on the outside. 